welcome back to the studio. Once again, we are live here from Handelsdagen at the Stockholm School of Economics. And I'm sitting here with the president and vice president of the whole project. So I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves, starting with you. Uh, so my name is uh, Ida Lennarsson, uh, and I'm a second year bachelor student here at SSE. Uh, and I am the president of Handelsdagen this year. And my name is Elvira Ekberg, and I'm the vice president of this year's Handelsdagarna. I'm also a second year bachelor student at Stockholm School of Economics. So, starting off with you, could you tell me a little bit about if you could like pitch Handelsdagarna briefly to those who don't know what it is? Yeah. Uh, Handelsdagarna, um, it was first of all founded in 1983, so this is the 36th edition. Uh, and today it has grown into a full week program. Uh, so it started off with some company events mm -hmm. uh, and it ends up with two fair days uh, having 73 exhibiting companies. Uh, we have interview sessions, uh, elevator pitch, uh, different lectures and workshops and of course our lovely web TV. Right. And what is the newest addition to the fair? What's new this year? Since a few years back, Handelsdagarna is an eco-labeled event, but this year we have uh, tried to develop that even further. So mm -hmm. this year, every company gets the opportunity to climate compensate for their participation. Right, right. And so could you describe how your roles like differ, at least on paper? Like, What does the president do that the vice president does not do? I would say that the main difference is that I'm responsible for the budget, uh, so I'm handling all the money. Uh, and then I'm the main contact to or main partners, SCB and EY. Um, yeah, that w I would say those are the m main differences. Right. Yeah, and I'm, I'm responsible for our premium sponsor, uh, Strums. Right. Uh, and I help out that with uh, just organizing everything within the project. Mm -hmm. What about um, on like a more personal level? Level, uh, how do you guys like complement each other in your work? Who's like the good cop and the bad <laughs> cop? I would say I'm the bad cop and she's the good one. Uh, no, but I would say that I'm more into details, and Elvira is very good at seeing the whole picture. Right. And especially all people within the project. Mm -hmm. uh, while I'm very yeah into details. Right. And structure. Yeah. And would you agree with that? I would, yeah, definitely. I think that in, in our roles in this project, um, we have complemented each other pretty well sure. uh, within our role since it has had the main responsibility for the budget. Uh, so I've been able to do the rest of like just seeing the bigger picture. Uh, but we've talked a lot through the project, just helping each other out, and that has been key for us, I right. think. Right. And I would say that we've, we've come a long way from Hunter's Dog and I being just the two of you guys newly applied for this job to, I mean, seeing the fair like behind you in motion, everything's just going on, it's running smoothly. Um, what's been your favorite part of the whole journey of Hunter's Dog and I? Uh, I would say being uh, there from the beginning to see how the project has grown from from a blank page uh, and these days it's been amazing to see how all different areas and all different different parts of the project has come into one product right. and how 150 students managed to work together um, yeah I would say that has been the greatest part right and Elvira yeah, uh, we put a lot of effort and time in our recruitment processes uh, together with our committee. And it's just uh, amazing to see how all parts, as Ida said, uh, have come together. Right. And also that everyone within the project have, has been able to develop their own area. And right. that I hope that they've felt ownership for their own specific sure. uh, and would you say that's like the reason that everything worked so smoothly, like this people working together different ways? Yeah. What's been like the what's been like the part of the whole project that's been going good? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys brag a little here. Uh, 
I think it's a combination between uh, an excitement and a, and for the project, uh, but also a knowledge within the specific area. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that we've been looking for people that does, don't only have just the knowledge, but also are involved within the project and want it to become the best time this uh, yet. Right. And with that, I want to thank you guys so much for coming. And on behalf of the lectures and broadcasting team, I want to thank you guys for doing such a great job with the fair. Everything's just going so well. And with that, um, I'm going to leave you with a word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Thank, thank you. you.